and welcome to Kids Corner on Armstrong Channel 20. I'm Miss Krista and I'm so excited today to be at Canfield Hilltop Elementary School with Mrs. Fowdy's and Mrs. Zett's kindergarten classes. We're going to read a fantastic fall and winter favorite book, Earl the Squirrel by Dawn Freeman. Earl is going to learn some special responsibilities about gathering acorns in this story, just like you're learning responsibilities each day. After that, we are going to make Earl the Squirrel bookmarks. And we're going to use stamp pads, black stamp pads, to stamp on the tree with the top of a pencil. We're going to glue on leaves, and then we're going to use Q-tips to dot on brown glue. And of course, a red tassel, just like Earl's red scarf. I hope you love this book and our craft. And if you would like Armstrong to come to your school, have a grown-up email us at channel20, that's channel20 at agoc.com. I think I hear our friends coming. Let's go. Who knows how to put on their own socks? Me. Who knows how to get dressed in the morning by themselves? Me. Who washes their own face? Me. Who brushes their own hair? Me. A lot of you. Good. Who, who is um, able to get their own breakfast? Like get their own Pop-Tarts huh, and their own milk and their own cereal. Who's able to pour their own cereal? You have a lot of responsibilities. Who cleans up their own rooms? Who sometimes gets help from mom? <laughs> Moms like to help. It's a mom thing. We still. Mom will always be mom. Who um, goes to bed in their own beds by themselves? That's a hard one, isn't it? Is that not a hard one? That's an easy one? Oh, that's wonderful. You do. So you have a lot of responsibilities. Who knew how to brush their teeth when they were a baby? Mom and Dad probably helped you with that when you were a baby. They probably helped you with a lot of things. And as you got older, they started teaching you how to do it by yourself, didn't they? They taught you how to wash your own face, make sure you get your ears, huh? Make sure you get your mouth. And they taught you how to put on your shoes, right? Especially on the right feet, huh? Um, I learned a lot of stuff from my parents, right? And you did from yours. And that's who, what we're going to talk about today. But we're not going to talk about a human kid. We're going to talk about a, an animal kid with, anim, with an animal mom. And his name is Earl. 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 And I love this book because I have a very good friend at Armstrong named Earl, so I told him I was doing this book today. But he's not an animal, he's a human. And he, this, this animal child has to learn how to do things by himself. And I'm going to give you a hint of what kind of animal this is. He, um, he's a rodent. He um, lives outside. He lives in a nest. He's a good climber, he does not fly, and he eats acorns. Who thinks they know? You in the back. A squirrel. You're very correct. We are going to read Earl the Squirrel by Dawn Freeman. What do you notice about this cover? It's mostly black and white, but there's one color on this cover. Red. Very good, my friends. Very good. So, and you're going to see that throughout this book. You're even going to see that in our craft. So, who has their good listening ears on? Very good. Who's sitting like a pretzel on the floor? Excellent job. I want to make sure that everyone can hear the book and see our beautiful pictures from Earl the Squirrel by Dawn Freeman. Early one autumn morning, a mother gray squirrel sat talking with her young son Earl. It's high time you went out and learned how to find acorns on your own, she said. But Earl didn't know the first thing about finding acorns, so away he sailed to visit his friend Jill. Good morning, Earl, said Jill. Here is an acorn I've saved for you. Earl was pleased to have found such a big acorn so quickly, his mother would be happy. He twitched and twirled his tail, which was his way of saying, thank you very much. Of course, 
need to start with just a couple items. You will need to make your Earl the Squirrel bookmark, a blank bookmark, which I've already made up for you, and I put a hole in the top for the ribbon, and I even drew on the outline of a tree. Okay, so all you need to do is follow the outline of this tree. And I just hand drew this so that, because every tree is different, so every one of your bookmarks is going to be a little different. And then I am going to give you, you have your stamp pads in front of you, I'm going to give you a pencil. It's not sharpened because we're not going to use the actual writing part of it, we're just going to use the eraser, okay? And then we are going to take our erasers. May I borrow this for a second, please? Thank you so much. And I'm going to put the eraser right in the ink. And I am going to take a bookmark and I am going to start dotting. And then you put it in the ink again and you dot and you dot and you dot and you dot all of the outlines and all of the inside of that. Sound like a plan? Excellent. Then let's get you started, my friends. Let's get you each a pencil and a bookmark. is in Vegas and they're bringing it back again on the 18th in Lafayette, Louisiana. And this is real tough because he's got a lot of movie stuff yeah. going on. He's going to be busy year. leading up to WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he's supposed to win the belt at Royal Rumble yeah. and lose it at Mania to Cena because he owes Cena a loss. Mm -hmm. You know, so Cena's supposed to win the belt back at mm -hmm. Mania. Right now that's what's on the, the books. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about Ryback, they're thinking of, they're, they're already looking to WrestleMania for him. They're thinking to put him in with Big Show so he can do his uh, stomp around the ring with him on his uh, uh -huh. shoulders with this huge dude on his back, you know. So yeah. it's kind of weird, but... It is. Yeah. But you never know. It might work, too. For one spot, you know, yeah, that's four spot. months away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the rock thing is just... Uh, you know, it's, it's so predictable. It's I know. Just, yeah, it is. Yep. But who, again, there's no one else to go to now. No one there's else no to go one to. else to go to. Nope. You know, all that's, anybody who was out there who means anything is done. done. And Sting doesn't mean anything. Oh, that's good. Point. The guy, you know, I mean, really. God, how, what, how old is Sting now? Oh, he's, he's up there. He'll push him 50 at yeah. least. Oh, yeah. He's in his 50s. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, the other day, what was that? Oh, it was on uh, the Wrestling Observer website. They had a reference to a link, and Lex Luger had appeared on, there's a show Hard, on. Hardcore Pawn. Yeah, I was, was going to bring that on up. True TV. I on saw it. I watched pond. the episode. I wouldn't watch the footage of him on there. Did you see him? Oh what my is the God! No, he had, no, he had, a, he had a, that stroke that he was in a wheelchair for a long time. His arms were real. He's skinny. atrophied. Yeah, wow. yeah. He's atrophied. He, he, I, like I wasn't even sure for a moment that it was really was. No, him. it it it, 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 but Lex, it was. Lex Luger. Oh. For those of you who don't know, um, uh, it was a stroke, wasn't it? That was, stroke. He had a stroke. He, after mm -hmm. he went to a. After the death of Miss Elizabeth, who was living with Lex Luger, he mm -hmm. was sort of downward spiral. And about a year or so later, I had a stroke that 
he was paralyzed he for was a while. Paralyzed. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a bad scene. Yeah, yeah I mean, then, I remember then thinking I didn't know if he was going to ever walk again or anything. Yeah, and obviously he's not taking his steroids anymore because oh. he's shriveled well, down to nothing. Yeah, they. You know, I remember him saying that. Uh, you know, the point where he could get in a wheelchair and. You know, of course, you know, he had gotten religion at that point well, of and all of these things. Um, but, yeah, on this link, yeah, he comes in to sell uh, a couple of his robes. Robes, yeah. For, uh, he claims it for a charity, for a charity but yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sure it's going to I think it's know. the Lex Luger charity. Well, I, I was going to say, he does, you know, allegedly, so who knows. What, but right, anyway, right. so he comes in with his guy, and he's got to use, like, one of those sort of cane things to walk. Yeah, a very strange walk. Very, yeah. yeah. Like you, I mean, he looked. He, he looked like someone who he was inflicted with a, a, a some kind of muscle disease or right. condition. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he like Pat said, he's just atrophied. I mean, yeah. His arms. I mean, the, the way his his chin and mm -hmm. neck look. Mm -hmm. He just. Oh wow. He had no. He had no like presence like, no. like, like Luger used to have it. Wow. The arms are really.